Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. I'm John Sable, and today we're taking the brand new Race Room Nordschleife out for another head-to-head, -head, this time against the Set of Courses version of the historic track. So without further ado, let's get to the laps. So here we are beginning our laps around the Nordschleife in both Race Room and a Set of Corsa. A couple things I want to note to begin with. First off, you might have saw the first head-to-head -head we did with the Race Room version versus iRacing version. And this time around, decided to run with the sunset light setting in Race Room because, as I mentioned in that video, it's super dramatic and uh, I just love the look of it. So of course, here we're running about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not quite as the late afternoon setting as you see here in Race Room. Another thing to note is I had a real struggle running two laps that were the same lap time. Race Room and I racing pretty much baseline setups, they ran within one second of one another. I said, of course, that I was about 10 seconds off the pace. So I said, of course, that I turned on as much stuff as possible to try to run a fast lap, worked on the setup. The Race Room lap was definitely running a bunch of wing and really trying not even to run very fast. And the Race Room lap still a couple seconds faster. So the Race Room version is going to look a little ahead of the Soto Corsa. So let's talk about how these two tracks compare and they're actually pretty similar as we head under the bridge right here you need to hear the reverb effects from a set of Corsa in version 1.5. I decided to run the set of Corsa sound because the sounds have been updated a little bit and honestly like I said I wasn't running that hard in the race room version so I thought the set of Corsa sound would be a little better to hear. But yeah those are those new reverb effects which I, I like. Kinda, I like the idea of them. I think it sounds cool. I just think they're a little bit overdone in certain sections of the track, but going on the tunnel there sounded pretty cool. Back to visually what we're seeing, and yeah, the race room and set of course diversions are pretty similar visual-wise. They pretty much have the same level of detail on the track surface, even though you will see in a set of course that they're a little more graffiti as you go around the track. The grass is pretty similar. The trees outside the guardrail are both visually similar and also the trees look to be in pretty much the same location. So it looks like there's, there's no, I'm not noticing any great variances between tree locations. So they look like they were all, they're both accurately done via the laser scanner since these are both laser scan tracks. One thing that is a little different I notice is the shading. This is just how it the, this is just the difference between the two titles is a set of course of shading is a little bit harsher on the guardrail than race room which I prefer a little bit more of the soft shading race room. Also some of the textures off in the distance there you see like that big hill that we just passed in a set of Corsa. Uh, in a set of Corsa the trees get a little bit texture like like almost one texture was thrown over the whole side of the hill instead of individual trees so some of those far off distances I do prefer a little bit more in race room but Overall, these tracks are both very similar, both very nice looking. You have to say that both uh, Sector 3 and Kunos did a really nice job recreating both of them. And speaking of Soda Corsa in version 1.5, this is the 1.5 version. And I went back and watched our old videos from prior versions, and honestly, I could not see any difference between the track. Now, it was on the uh, build notes that there were some improvements to the Nordschleife, but visually, I can't see them. It looks all the same to me. I mean, there certainly could be some differences. The only, the only ones that I could notice wasn't even track wise it was looking at the driver there and he saw the uh the new driver gloves which actually kind of remind me of uh of like a suit you wear when you're swimming with sharks and has that chain meal to it that's kind of that's kind of what it looks like to me so that's the only visual difference that i noticed between the prior versions of the soda corsa and version 1.5 
do love this section of the track because it does a great job of showing the sun poking through the trees at different locations and I think both tiles do a really great job of it. Here you see some sunlight poking through in the race room. And just having that glimpse of that bright sunset, that, that bright yellow, orangish light coming through the trees is really great. Same with the setter course, you can see the light that's coming in at different points. Not quite as severe as race room at the moment, but like I said, setter course so it isn't quite as late in the day as we could have ran. We could have ran at 6 o'clock in the afternoon and those shadows definitely would have been longer, the light would have been more dramatic. And like I mentioned in the iRacing vs. Raceroom video, I love the sun. You, you can really see the sun low in the sky now, very prevalent, shining in, in your eyes. And I think just Sector 3 just did a great job with visually seeing the sun and having it be nice and bright. Uh, I think it just the effects and the haziness around it from the sunlight, again, it, it's like you're out there driving in the middle of summer around the Nordschleife and just really great effects and you really see it here when you break out into the opening of this long straightaway. So as we close out both the laps here, going to wrap up this video and again just like the race room versus eye racing video, another great example of just great work by developers, both Sector 3 again and Kunos. Both tracks are just really high quality levels and just really amazing to see such high quality in sim racing these days. So for John Sable, thanks for watching this episode of Inside Sim Racing. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we'll see you guys next time.